Last time on the Lazy Geckos. Just leaving Bing's Landing, we just went and had lunch and kind of celebrated a little bit, like pre-signing the papers. Boom! Yes, you did. You're a goofball. Good job. So finally coming together. She's ours. Our new boat is this lovely 2013 Antares 44i. We couldn't be more excited to start cruising. Take this off. Take this off. The time has come. So much went into this. Tons of work and planning. Years of it. We're shoving off the dock and setting sail indefinitely. When we started, we figured we'd like sailing, but we fell in love with it. Said I would learn to love the space. We're so excited to take you along this journey with us. Let's walk away from the norm and look to the horizon. Who knows what's waiting for us out there, right? Down the ICW we go. This will be several times we've navigated this channel, bridge after bridge. It's a great place to shake our new girl out. Oh hey, just in time for the first major problem. How'd you get the engine to shut down? There's an emergency switch on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I couldn't get the engine to shut down from the switch of the panel. It just, well, the hours kind of funny, and then I noticed that as soon as we got here, and then um, it was just acting a little blinky, which is the ECU. These Volvo Pets has issues with the issues with the ECU, so and I tried to shut the engine off, and the panel it wouldn't shut off, so I had to do an emergency shut off. But that means I'm not going to get it started. Yeah, I could start the other engine, but not this engine from the panel. So I'm going to read up on it and figure it out. It's an electrical problem, not a mechanical. We've rode on one engine before. Yeah, well that's why we have two engines. It's weird because, so I shut the engine off, and I was like, well, if this panel's not working for the port engine, then it's not gonna let me turn the instruments off. So I pushed the button, and it let me turn the instruments off. But then I turn the push, push the same button in to turn it back on, and then we'll turn it on. So it's gotta be that ECU, it's probably crapped itself. Well, we could always get one shipped to us. So explain to me if it's electrical, will that happen with every ECU, or you think it's the well, electrical these, part from, in the ECU? No, it's the ECU is kind of like a brain for the motor, electrical brain, and uh, apparently these boats have issues with the ECUs going bad. So Antari specifically, it's had no Volvo Penta. Okay. It didn't count hours correctly um, during this last trip, and I just went down and cycled the batteries. I'm going to turn it off. What does that say? Stop? Um, now I'm going to try to turn it back on. No, I don't know what it's on now. Now it's stopped. Okay, so now it's on hours. Okay, so I just turned the instruments are coming on and off again. So now I'm going to try to start the engine. But now it won't come back on. So it's definitely the ECU. It's a weird issue. So I cycled the battery. I'm going to try to cycle the battery and see if we can't get the engine to start. Cycling the battery. I've interrupted their movie, so they're just patiently waiting. So it's probably that issue. Yeah. But if I can just get it to start by cycling battery, then, you know, now it's not coming on. That's odd. Okay. Maybe I'll just leave it off a little bit longer. It's a shame that, like, engines are so dependent on all the electrical stuff nowadays. You know? Okay, here, do this. Put that down. Right press. Holding. Press. Pressing. All right, so now it's 
power. Let's see if we can get the start. Ah! Oh, started. All right. Let's see if we can get it shut down. Shut down. This is cool. Yeah, it's not working right though. I mean, it's working fine, but it's not. It's electrical. Good. Oh yeah. Sounds weak. Yeah. It's the ECU. Causing issues. It's almost like it wants to go and then it stops. It's like it's never before it was surging. Well apparently Volvo's been having this thing where they have all these bad ECUs and they're like seven hundred and fifty bucks a pop and all they're doing is sending out like more bad ECUs and there's no way to track them. There's no serial number. All there's a part number on it. So they're not tracking which ones are bad. They're coming back in. They'll probably test it on a little test bench and then they send it back out and it's bad. So I guess tons of people are having issues with these ECUs. We'll be able to continue on with that, but we're going to need to get another ECU at least and uh, swap it out. Will they cover that? Yeah, it's under warranty. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. So John's going to work on getting that. Before we cross to the Bahamas? Yeah, we'll have to get that. But I mean, it should be hard. You know, to get it sent, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all right. You know, we're going to work some bugs out, and that was the first bug. Awesome. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for being a mechanic. You're welcome. Jeremiah's 22 years as a U.S. Marine and F 18 engine mechanic is invaluable. He was able to make a temporary repair to get us moving again. I love it. It was nice. We, we uh, basically we motor sailed for a little while. I think we got like a knot out of it. When we have like 10 on the beam. And I was like, well, let's just do a sail up. Because we're trying to get up to uh, NASA Causeway Bridge before 3.30, 30, 15.30. Because all the people that work at NASA leave, and they won't open the bridge for like an hour and a half. So otherwise, you know, it's on open on demand. So, But it was good. It went well, right? Yeah. The kids just had an awesome dolphin exciting up there. The dolphins were up there swimming for like minutes and minutes, and they are going back and forth between the bows. I'm going to go see if they're still there. All right. Bella, go potty. Hi, Bella. Go potty, Bella. Go potty. <laughs> Trying to breed potty train a 10 year old dog on a boat. This is fun. At least you got a bath today. Alright, let's see what the kids are doing. How many were there? Five. Five, Five dolphins. Is that your first dolphin experience? Yep. Do you like it? It's pretty cool sitting up here and you can hang over and watch them. We're going to just try to get down the ICW a couple days so we can get in some warmer water, warmer environment. It's been like 70. Get down there so the kids can play. I don't think we're going to have a weather window until next week. So they leave on Tuesday and uh, it looks like the seas are starting to calm down around, down around Wednesday. So I think we're just going to cruise down south to like Miami, let them play in the water a little bit, maybe do a little scuba diving, who knows, and then um, uh, do some paddle boarding, let them play with the sea scooters, all that kind of stuff, some warm water. And then they'll fly out of Fort Lauderdale, and we'll be waiting for our weather window, and we'll probably leave, unless we're waiting for just a few of this time, uh, if we can leave right away, we'll leave from Fort Lauderdale. Or maybe we'll cruise up and leave from uh, Lake Worth. We don't know. Wherever, we'll just decide as we go. But all we're thinking about now is getting south, um, anchoring along the way. We're going to pick up some more fuel, sail when we can. Which we'll just leave and do a little bit of sailing. And then uh, learn the boat and try to like knock some cobwebs out. So we had a little issue with the engine last night. Came. Uh, it wouldn't shut down from the control panel, the Ford engine, brand new engines. So these engines are Volvo Pentas. They had this known issue where the little control unit, I think it's called ECU or MDI, uh, they aren't working right. So you get all these erroneous cautions. Um, sometimes things won't work like shutting the engine down. So I had to manually shut it down. We got it to work and talk to the reps should have a part by tomorrow and they're under warranty so I'm trying to find out if I can work on it or not. If I can I'll just swap it. Uh, if not 
they'll pay somebody to come out and it'll take 20 minutes to swap it out. So I'm gonna keep the warranty going on the engines. What are you looking for? NASA? Looking for NASA? Yeah. What did you see? Uh, space shuttle. <laughs> you can see it right there. I, I think it's the boosters and the fuel tank. I don't, I don't know if there's a shuttle on there or not. Yeah, there is. Is there? It's just the tank, the fuel tank, and the shuttle. It's probably at like the museum or something. So not perfect, but hey, we're just getting into it. Calypso is a lot different than the Lazy Gecko. It takes some getting used to for sure. It's a little nerve wracking, but still fun. One thing I'm not crazy about yet is our new bridle. Let's see how it goes this time. Good. I'm sure we'll learn um, as we go if it works or not. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. Hey. What happened? Uh, I think a bird flew into the boat. But he's gone. I mean, I don't see him. It's like, thump. Are you sure it was on that side? Yeah. It was definitely. It was like right behind you. Thump. Those birds, boy. That's, that's two nights in a row. So well, they're not pooping all over the deck. Now they're slant, now they're kamikaze the boat deck. It's like, ah! Oh. Causing chaos. It's like the movie The Birds. They're all flying. I guess our windows are just that clean. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I need to put the loose lights up it because... It scared the crap out of me. Did it? Yeah, I thought somebody ran into our boat. The birds back? No. They're not going to run it. Look at the lights I have going. You know? Yeah. It's flickering because I have setting on, but... Back to our card game. Yep. Who's winning? Jessica. Jess is winning? Oh my gosh. I should have complained. So the port water tank is full? No, the, the port water tank is empty. The starboard I just filled, but I'm the, about to switch it over so that it uh, fills up the port. This tube right here is coming from the water maker. It comes this three-way valve. It comes in, and you can either go, well, I no, I just filled up the port. You're right, I've, I'm at starboard. So I had to go into the port, this is the port. I need to zip tie this up. I just installed this tonight, this one. So it's going here. Now I'm going to switch it over to the starboard side. Boom. Now the water's going in and going to the starboard side. That easy. Yep. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Making water. The water's kind of dirty. I mean, these aren't bad. I just replaced these yesterday. Uh, but we're not like in the Bahamas right now. So it's not bad. We're not near any marinas or anything like that. It's just, you yeah, know, that's just how it is. But making fresh water, I make about 70 gallons today. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. So much for filtering it, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that right there. We'd like to be included in your 2230 opening where the sailing vessel approaching from the north. Now it's time for the inlet. That's it. So we're ocean bound now. What, man? We're at Donnie's Marina. Just talked to Donnie, really nice guy. He uh, gave us walking directions to go to customs. We have to make a left at the fork, remember that. We're not really sure who owns the mooring ball. Yeah, he said, I don't own it, but I'll take the money for it. I said, okay, cool, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Our episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below.